Uh, that uh, I mean, the Vox, the Ringo, they've been struggling into the duel mm -hmm. because she just runs straight at you, and there's more damage output there. Okay. The question Re is statement. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, that, I mean, get you guys are here. Like, that that's the question. I don't know what the actual answer is. Um, there was no question in that in what you said, though. All right. L let's talk about that. There's not a draft <laughs> happening. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. See, whenever when the world starts to fall in around you, you know, you just get picked right back up, team. Let me bring this mic close to my mouth. I don't know if you heard that Ozo pick come in there. <laughs> so the interesting thing to me is the other last week, at the end of the week, I was actually talking to you and he said, it's just so good when Ly you have Lyra and Lance is banned, Ozo is one of the best picks you can grab. They have Lyra, they banned Lance. Is Ozo one of the best picks they could have grabbed? Ooh, I this this would be one of the drafts where I would say it probably does okay, but it's not like the best. Um, the best would be like if they have a Ringo already picked, uh, if they have a squishy um, weapon laner, e even a squishy CP laner. You know, it doesn't matter if it's Celeste, I guess. Uh, I, I do think that Ozo does one thing which is kind of counter to the rest of Cloud9's comp, and that's with Bangarang, you're isolating one person, and I think Jewel wants everyone to be grouped. Nah, um, necessarily. I mean, almost all the fights we saw earlier, Jewel was ditching her team and the enemy team while Ringo or Vox or whoever is trying to run away from the fight, and she's just chasing them down. Ringo's the last pick for TSM. I I think Ringo should struggle into the Ozo mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I actually really like Cloud9's draft here. I I feel like there's a lot of tools they have that can really shut down. You could have said TSM. TSM's one word, but hey, never mind. We'll have to see if Cloud9 does come through. And look at where Best Chuck is right now in the jungle of Cloud9. Gabe Viz is going to spot him out, stop uh -oh. the recall with that Lyra. I think the Lyra wins the 1v1, but Old School's going to come and say hello. Some action for me. I will take it. Yes, please. First blood on the cards for Old School. If, as long as he can get the killing blow. No rocket blump. It's going to go to Gabe Viz. Whoops, it is. I guess first blood is first blood. First blood is first blood, and it's a very quick first blood. Or first blood. It was just saying first blood lots, but uh, <laughs> I feel like the, so in the last game between these two teams, uh, between Cloud9 and TSM, we did see Gabe Bizzle picking up that Cat's and Glaive, which I think a lot of us felt didn't work so well. I feel like TSM have this habit if they always like to play what their opponents played if they lost. So now we're seeing Flash X playing the Cat's and Glaive, if that makes sense. They are sticking on to that Koshka for Von C, so the aggression will still be available. Cloud9 though, they say we can make this jewel work for ourselves. They pretty much steal away the Lyra as well. Ozo picked up for Joseph. That is very interesting. The fun pick, which I actually think can really work, work really well, I can dive straight into the back lane for uh, on, straight onto Best Rock NA every single time. That's something that he's gonna have to be very careful about, that bangerang. Once he hit, hits that level six, it may definitely make things difficult. And again, we just want to Talking about important prioritizes. Bo okay, Bonsi. Bonsi just jumps in, takes the tree and gets out alive. Not even worried. Joseph tries to chase him down. Long range acro bounce there, but it's just not enough damage so far. He needs to be hitting multiple combos. Now Bonsi's in position to steal this elder tree away. Everyone rooted up. They're gonna go straight for Gabe Vizzle, lay down the damage. There goes the tree and over on to Von C. Gabe Vizzle will fall. Easy pickings for this Koshka. And now they're looking to get oh, Joseph no. as well. It's gonna go over a double here for Von C. Old school under fire as well. Things just going so wrong for Cloud9. Yeah, very wrong indeed. That was nice. See that they were just focusing on Gabe Vizzle, trying to burst him down as much as he could. And actually, Von C, with only two crystal bits, actually did really well against Gabe Vizzle and I Love Joseph, who I Love Joseph definitely has a bit more crystal power than Von C does. So that was a fun match that they were seeing that we might be seeing again. Von C, no, actually, Von C's going to be okay. He's not going to be caught out here. And Cloud9 being a little bit aggressive here. Yeah, no, they are looking to try and regain the. Tree, Elder Triant rooting up both Gabe Bizzle and Joseph was what allowed for this double kill to go over to Von C so easily. Now Joseph looking to be aggressive. Von C trying to get on in there. The Bright Bulwark will stop him from engaging now, but Cloud9 will have to disengage. Can't allow for this Koshu to get too close. The jungle shop just about to spawn, and you can see that they're going to purchase it up here. That fountain. Let's go to 
flash X just before as he kind of finds a teleport for himself. But will be Joseph purchasing here, everyone purchasing Fonsi as well as Cloud9 make their way back to the lane. Yeah, we we'll just see Flash X picking up that quick offense in there. Great, give us a few hundred gold off. He's probably going to get it soon in the next. Well, he'll have enough gold in the next, I'll say, 30 seconds or so. But right now, TSM, they're picking their fights carefully. Koshka, we are seeing her roaming around the map, but not being as aggressive. And I think part of the reason is if you do look at the 1v1 that we could potentially be seeing between Isle of Joseph and Von C, it's actually very difficult to call who would win. And actually, I might, I would tend to favor the Ozo over the Koshka, actually, in these instances, just because of the reach. Oh, they're going in! Oh, no. Old school completely knocked out of position, but he stays alive for now. Joseph gonna go in. They're looking to try and lock him up in. Best truck gonna find the kill. That's gonna be old school falling to Bonsi as well. It's just gave Bizzle left alive as Best Chuck does for a bit of a cheeky tower dive. But man, Cloud Nine, they're just getting completely shut down. They really are. <laughs> I, I the, you know, what we're seeing right now with this Captain Glaive, uh, Glaive Captain, Captain Glaive, Glaive Captain, is we want to be seeing those. <laughs> captain, my captain. Oh, Glaive. Oh, Glaive. Exactly. Uh, early on. With the captain glaive, exactly. You want to be seeing the afterburn. You want to be seeing the repositioning. They managed to get old school. He did use his rocket leap to get away, but you certainly caught them unaware. It did a lot of damage, and they took advantage of the damage and just pushed two kills out of that. And we're seeing them just drawing a very slow lead ahead. And actually, TSM they kind of remind me of like the old team secret. Like the synergy is they've been together for a few seasons now. It's so strong. Ooh. Comparing a North American team to a, a European team. I know, it's controversial. Interesting. Controversial, yeah. Twitch it's going to be Cloud9 right though. <laughs> looking for an engage. Joseph getting baited in. Maybe you're baiting the wrong people here as Bonzi goes in. But there's the Bangarang, knocks him straight back in. Oh. And that's going to be Bonzi falling. No fear. This time he should have it. As now Joseph looks to engage further. The Acro Bounce lands, but they can't find any more. Bonzi going to consider how close he was. A little bit too close over that aftershock purchase. Oh, that's, a, that's what we mean about the the Ozo. Is that once you get into the late game, the regeneration that you do get from your acrobats is, is just so useful, especially if you pair that with a liar who is able to heal you and just stay relatively far back in the back line and just heal you whenever she sees the need to, be, to need to do that. Whereas Von say what, what we need to be seeing is just them jumping straight in, bursting them down as fast as possible. But as we do get into the late game, it is going to be a lot more harder for them to do that. To do that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I, I, I agree. For Von C, he has a, a ticking clock above his head. This early game, as we head into mid game, will be what kind of dictates whether Von C can continue the aggression. But in the previous game, it was enough. You can see he's not dissuaded. Jump straight towards old school there to try and lay down a bit of poke. Joseph will make his way back up to the lane. TSM, they are still keeping up so much pressure onto Cloud9, you know, consistently trying to keep old school on his back feet it's working old school he's farm he's he's doing well with farm he's keeping him and best chart with best chuck best chuck and ar seeing very even right now but i'm gonna have to agree with the analyst desk i think as we i think cloud nine definitely have the advantage in terms of compositions tsm are supposed to be very aggressive in the early game and they definitely have done so oh, here we go oh, again yeah, the here we go the afterburns go in, Old School disengaged, there's Bonzi knocked in with that Bangarang, but look at Old School's health, it's melting and he gets taken on out of the fight. Joseph trying to do his best to get a return kill onto Bonzi, has the shield, and that's going to be the help from Lyra. Gabe Bizzle able to find that before, that is Joseph falling. Now Gabe Bizzle trying to escape, still with ultimate in hand, very, very safe at this point, but Flash X is in position, he wants that afterburn onto the Lyra. Won't be able to find it though. Another two to one for Cloud and uh, TSM. It goes in TSM's way. I think it's still very close. So I think every single team fight, I actually find it very difficult to call who's going to win. And it's been going quite back and forth every single time. And old school, he's not been blocking the afterburns, and I partly think he's just saving his rocket leap for that purpose, and then using his reflex block for the banger. Uh, sorry, for the yummy Cantor frenzy, which I think would do a little bit more damage if he was caught out by that. But. Right now, we're getting to this point. The gold mine's very full. Neither tart has been taken. And I think what we're just seeing is that Cloud9 are just playing the careful waiting game. Just keeping their defenses up. They're doing a good job so far. And once we do see all the heroes on the side of Cloud9 ramping up, that's when they can just really go all in. Certainly. Atlas Pauldron finished with Gabe Bizzle, so we'll be able to 
shut down some of the damage that comes out of best chuck if the uh, captain for car 9 is able to get close to the fight have to see how aggressive gay fizzles positioning is during the fights it will really rely on it a very interesting usage of the big red button doesn't connect onto anything possibly just trying to push the wave out before tsm gets in position to start hammering away at this turret you can see von c's pushed up very aggressively in that top push that they are we do see joe picking up the breaking point now what to say i think i think you have said earlier on that he does prefer to see the tornado trigger over the breaking point and i think i have to agree with him i think the tornado trigger is just a bit more oh i don't know why <laughs> i just think it's a bit more Oh, hang on, they're going to get the gold mine. Are we see seeing a steel? Maybe a big red bus? Oh no, we're not going to be seeing that anytime soon, but Cloud9 are going in for the steel. Imperial Sigil goes on in, but it's not going to be taken out. The fight started up. It's going to be uh, best shot though, going extremely low. Z gets taken on down, but they find the kill onto old school as well. Joseph bouncing forward and backwards, looking to try and keep this one up, but Von C gets the heal. Now he wants to re engage. Maybe too soon, my friend. He will fall to Gabe Vizzle. A very crazy team fight. But there you see it the aggression from Gabe Vizzle with that ultimate to get into the fight immediately puts down that Atlas Pulgin straight onto Best Chuck's face and completely cuts him out of the fight. That's exactly what they did. And also, if you look at it, Best, Chuck, uh, Best Chuck's position was a little bit off. He was just standing and he was just taking damage from Isle of Joseph and Gabe Vizzle the whole time, who were right next to him. And by the time that he was able to pick up the kill on there on old skill, he was already so low that it just wasn't enough. And Von C and Flash X had to back away. I think with this Ringo, you want to see him a little bit more in the back line. And right now, I don't think we're seeing that. Currently, very even this game, but the gold has swung in TSM's way. 2000 just about. It doesn't feel like it here. We're going to see the Crucible finished for Flash X. That's really where the difference lies if you look across the board in the items. Just TSM have a little bit more under their wings. But the crystal uh, weapon infused for both these carries here. We'll have to see if they're able to win out a fight because of them. I love Joseph still has his ticking away from earlier. This turret, Cloud Knight trying to put the aggression onto it. In fact, they want Von C. They jump over, steal away that treant for themselves. They are. I think what's worrying me is I'm just looking at I love Joseph on the Ozo and he is just able to get onto Best Truck NA every single time. Which is not what Best Truck NA wants. He doesn't have the defense to try and counter that. And I oh we're going in with the Hellfire Brute. I don't know if we're gonna see any engages on top of this. Doesn't look Flash like X. it. Once again to position, but that bright bulwark goes out. Cloud9 say no. Now we just have to see if Cloud9 look to try and reset the fight. They have Atlas Pauldrons on both Joseph and Gabe Bizzle can really slow down the attack speed of Best Chuck here, who's isolated from the fight and old school dives on in. Acro Bounce is not landing there from Joseph, isn't quite able to get to Best Chuck in A. So Cloud9 will just back away. And yeah, we did see, that was actually a nice move that we saw from Flash X. So the moment it looked like I love Joseph was going to jump onto Best Chuck in A, we saw Flash X using the after run immediately to try and counter and just punt him away. It didn't actually quite happen, but it was a really nice move coming out from Flash X, and this is exactly what we're going to be seeing coming out from him in these upcoming fights. It's just to keep Best Truck NA safe. He doesn't have the defense um, to fight against oh, Joseph. Oh, this is a 2v3 they're going in. Yep, and Old School was able to disengage straight off the bat. The reflex block from him. Nice usage. In fact, it's an Aegis already. But Old School putting so much priority on saving, um, uh, building up that shielding, the ability to block out some of this damage from Koshka and have that reflex block up very often. Makes sense. We're just seeing Vonsi jumping onto old school every single time. I love Joseph's just, I think, is a little bit too nimble for them to try and catch on to. Oh dear, I don't know about this. It's a bit of a 2v3 situation. I think Cloud9 should have risky. this. Very risky. TSM can steal it away. So many abilities that will allow them to. Big red button goes out. Here's Best Chuck. He's in the fight of this. Oh. TSM looking for the engage straight away, straight on in. They're going to try and trade it around. They're going straight on to Best Chuck. But oh, Joseph going so low. Can he heal up for the fight? Sustain as he bounces back and forth. Yes, he can find Best Chuck before he too loses his life. But Vonzi has to dive away. The gold miner goes to Cloud9. And Flash X now in a dire situation. He is, though, able to find a kill and run away. Vonzi now fighting against old school. Old school disengages. Trying to run away from this Koshka. But you cannot run. You cannot hide an ace for TSM. 
Oh, Vaughn. See, I did not think. <laughs> the whole time, I think the whole time in the fight, the gold mine was helping, which was absolutely not helping the situation at all. But they were able to control the fight. Vaughn, just managed um, to pull that extra energy out at the end, just to try and catch up to Old Scott. I don't know how he did that. That was the very impressive. He went straight over to the Treant. Uh, took it away whilst the old gold mine was being completed. Looking ahead for the chase down rather than for the gold Smart. miner. Smart move, and I think that's exactly what TSM needed. And I will say, actually, by focusing on Isle of Joseph near the start, it actually worked really well for them. They kind of just isolated old school and went, okay, we need to take out Isle of Joseph because before in the fights, so if they took out old school first, Isle of Joseph would just come in there and just sweep up. Yeah, no, I, I know, I agree. Focus him down, get him out of the fight. They did lose Best Shock fairly early on, but he, uh, Cloud9 just didn't have anything left in them. And the Ace comes through. They get the turret as well, TSM here. They uh, basically discount what that gold miner means to Cloud9. The gold still in the advantage for TSM as they, they're building up to a 3k lead here. However, we have to see how Vonsi is able to scale throughout this game because Cloud9 if they can hold out, if they can stay close. They don't lose too many objectives along the way. We've hit this 15 minute mark. They're in a good position to, to get this jewel, get this Ozo going. Oh, Not if Old School gets caught out though. That's gonna be him locked up, stunned away. There's no way he survives. Now Gabe Bizzle trying to escape as well, but Vonsi's quick on the hunt, looking to try and chase down the help by Brew gonna tick on through. Flash X dives as well, but Joseph is able to push them all back. This uh, Ozo bouncing back and forth in the middle of the fight. Fonsi though, he's not done! Oh, and no. Gabe Bizzle will go so low! <laughs> it's gonna be the keycap swiping for that final blast of the damage. And now it just leaves Joseph to hold the base together. Fonsi will look to try and take that one away as the fast shot from Best Chuck finds the ace. So many isolated fights. TSM take a 1v3, a 1v3, and then another 1v3. And it just gives them a very easy ace in the end. Could they have been any more aggressive, I guess, in the voice of Chandler, because I was like, they went under like two thirds. I, I Vonsi just kept going and going and going and going just after Gabe Vizzle, but that is what they need. We need to be seeing this aggression. A lot of the times when we do see this Koshka being played is that uh, they start off with good intentions, but then just back away from the fight. But again, going, okay, my gosh, that was a quick crack in coming out from them. Super quick, possible stuff here for this team. Now Cloud9 in so much trouble. Um, wonder how they actually get back into this game. At the moment, for TSM, they have such a huge advantage. The Kraken pushing straight on in. Old School just hasn't been as influential, hasn't got that monocle yet on this jewel, and it is so necessary for the jewel to be able to lay down the consistent damage. It's almost like you missed the memo on how to build it. <laughs> Savage. Um... <laughs> I think also part of the issue is that we are seeing TSM just throwing everything at them. He gets hit by the afterburn, he gets yep. hit by the Hellfire Brew, and he also gets hit by the Yummy Catnip Frenzy. Like this, straight yeah, on exactly. in, flash X straight yeah. in. This time Old School's trying to dive on forward. It's a messy fight, this ultimate from Lyra causing a lot of trouble, and Old School will be immediately taken away from the fight. Joseph doing his best, but he gets knocked away and taken on out. TSM are so strong, and the Ace will spell the disastrous note here for Cloud9. Fonzie jumps on towards the base. He's gonna give his life up because he doesn't care. They take the game 16 to 6, a clean 2 0 over Cloud9, and They'll be progressing to day two. That was just a ridiculous game. I really feel that Cloud9 should have had that game.